This is your diamond insight for tonight of proposing a debt for nature swap. An article published by Reuters has caught our attention in which the World One Fight for Nature proposes eye-watering estimates of between 750 to 1 billion United States dollars in green projects. For the purposes of understanding, according to the International Monitoring Fund blog that quotes authors like the organization's managing director, Kristalina Georgieva, it reads, and we quote, Debt for climate swaps and debt for nature swaps seek to free up fiscal resources so that governments can improve resilience without triggering a fiscal crisis or sacrificing spending on other development priorities. Creditors provide debt relief in return for a government commitment, for instance, to decarbonize the economy, invest in climate resilient infrastructure, or protect biodiverse forests or reefs. The instruments have existed in various forms for decades. And more countries are considering them following recent agreements in Barbados. Belize and seashells, the end of quote. We are of the view that this complex matter requires a thorough explanation by government through the Ministry of Finance and National Planning. It is quoted having confirming receipt of an email from the WWF. Citizens deserve to know what they are in for to avoid spark speculation that there are sections of the international community that seek to take over Zambia's prized natural habitats, among them the iconic Victoria Falls. We say this because there have been cases from countries where the program has disenfranchised local communities from benefiting what should have aligned with their aspirations. Testing of the said proposal in Zambia by the G20 Common Framework through a restructuring mechanism launched during the heightened COVID-19 pandemic casts a wave of uncertainty on what the true intentions are. To appreciate the benefits of the debt for nature swap, if it were to be undertaken by the New Dawn government with the approval of creditors, it will require transparency and effective communication to prevent lumping more fiscal burden on our country.